the pictures that I have here are vertical cracks that they found in their tree, and we're really concerned about the health. So whenever I get a question about trees, I always ask for more information about the general health of the tree. So this is another picture that came from the tree. You can see a nice deep or nice flare at the bottom. That's really good. A lot of trees get buried too deeply. That's not the case here. I can see at the top of the tree that it's fully leafed out, that the color is pretty good. It's from a distance, so I can't see the up close tree, but the owner assured me that the leaves are very healthy and they weren't seeing a lot of drought damage or anything like that. I also ask about any branch dieback. You can see that there's a little bit, but that's actually quite normal for these trees, so it's not a big problem. All right, so some more about these vertical cracks. These look like frost cracks. These are cracks that can extend deep into the tree. It's also caused if there is a warm winter day um, or where a day where the sunlight is able to warm the bark and the inner wood, it can actually start to get some movement with the fluids in the, in the tree. And then when it gets cold, as it does on many of our winter days, and especially this last winter, we had a lot of really cold days. It can actually cause a shrinkage or a contraction in the bark and in the inner wood, and that can actually cause the bark to split. You might have heard something similar on some trees, the sun scald on some of our fruit trees or thin bark trees, and that, that is similar, but this is different. With an oak tree, you wouldn't expect to have sun scald, but you actually can have these frost cracks. So what to do if you do have these? Over time, these wounds can uh, develop a raised area, kind of like the sun scald. It's a callous tissue that kind of tries to close over the bark. That might happen. It actually, in, in the winter, it can actually get bigger. And then in the summer and then on warmer days, it can actually get smaller. You just need to make sure that you keep your tree in very good health. There's nothing that you can do about the crack other than just try to make sure that your tree is healthy. So make sure that you've done your soil testing so you know that your tree is getting the appropriate nutrients for the species of tree. Make sure that you water your trees during drought. Uh, it might help for you to reduce compaction by aerating the soil. Do not pack the crack. Do not paint the crack. Those are actually really old techniques that were used on trees that actually can cause a bigger problem because it makes it so that insects or fungi, if they're underneath that paint, they can actually cause more damage. Here's an example of another tree that has some frost cracks. And um, this is on the Michigan State University campus. And this tree is still growing. So the question of will my tree die? No, not in, in the immediate future, but you do need to just make sure that the tree is okay. Just a couple other things with their tree. They also sent me this picture. This right up here, this is a, a pretty typical wound healing from a, a pruning wound. And so it's fine. There is a little bit of weepage and that can definitely happen from these trees. Trees seal their wounds. They do not heal from wounds. Like you and I, we would heal from a wound, but trees just try and seal over the damage. They try to compartmentalize in their tree. So it, that's one of the reasons it's really important for you to prune properly. They also showed some other pictures of some other things that kind of maybe looked like cracks, but these are actually typical markings of a pin oak tree or, or many of our oak trees. They did say that this was a pin oak, and I do just want to point out pin oaks, they are native trees, but they are found in river bottoms, and river bottoms have rich acidic soils, also plenty of access to moisture. So this is actually not a very appropriate tree for an urban area. It would be good for if you are planting new trees to make sure that you're planting appropriate trees for your area. And to do that, this is a really great site to keep as a reference. The treesaregood.org from ISA or the International Society of Arborists. They have lists if you go up here for tree owner information, they can give you lots of information about trees. And then if you do have questions about your trees, they have this resource called Find an Arborist to be able to find a certified arborist. A certified arborist has gone through some pretty rigorous testing to make sure that they are familiar with up-to-date research on trees and good tree practices. Just one more tip on this. When you are looking for an arborist and you type in your city, if you only have one or two, you can also type in surrounding cities and you'll be able to get a lot more arborists that are certified.